Hey folks, I'm HP and this is Dr. Pink. Today we're talking about intense blues rock clicks. <laughs> this is how it's gonna sound, more or less. Yeah, stuff like that. By the way, the track is the backing track of my song uh, Grandma's Apple Pie for my CD Blue City. If you want to check it out on iTunes, there's a little. I writ, I've wrote a little story about the Blue City. It's very funny, <laughs> but I think it's only on iTunes. This uh, the booklet with little story. <laughs> yeah, so let's check it out. The Blues Rock Lakes. <laughs> First, of course, we need to check out the sound settings. You already heard it. I personally prefer a lot of delay. In this case, it's a uh, ping pong weight. Yeah, it's ping pong delay. Only works on stereo devices, goes left, right. You can use any kind of delay. And in this case, I have seven repeats, but you can work with less repeats if you don't like that. But for a really fat sound, it's needed. Set on high, dis on high level distortion, and the rest happens on the fretboard. Let's check out those licks now. The track is in D minor, so I have been using the D minor pentatonics, and as you can hear, I have pretty much noise here on the sound, and uh, I don't use any noise gate because this cuts off your sound. So I prefer having kind of a noisy setting. So I'm playing the D minor pentatonics to show the pentatonics I'm gonna play with clean sound. I use this one here in the low position. Starts here, fifth fret, eighth, fifth. So I'm using this position, very important one, and this position. So you need to know at least these two positions, otherwise not really cool. So, this is the root position of the D minor pentatonics. Yeah. Now, back to the high gain sound. I, a lot of uh, tunes start with this entry lick. This one here. Here, five, seven, five, seven, mostly on as hammer on. And if you count, one, two, three. Uh, let's see where that starts. One, two, three. Yeah, so this starts in three and one, two, three. So here is the one and not here. And that's, this is like the entry lick to start here. And then we jump up here. So we jump from from easy going directly to intensity. But also, if you play this note here, this is the F. You can also start working with, with harmonic. Then you jump immediately up, and the pink is in the 13th, bending in the 12th. You make only on the 12th the bending. And this one is allowed to have some dirt. You don't need to have the perfect pitch. Or you can make you you can really make a kind of a approaching a, the, the perfect pitch. See, that's really release again. The on the ten and back here on twelve. See. And also here also can work with harmonics. And what I really do uh, on the ending notes of any phrase or of uh, on long notes, 
I accelerate the vibrator to the end of the note. Why to do that? And then stop, because when you have the delay, then it gives more intensity and doubles it up. So let's see how that one sounds. That really sounds cool. And um, you can, re like, on the long notes, you can make kind of repeats, like... <laughs> and the longer you do this, the, mo the more intense you do the vibrato. And you can even overact it a little bit. That's a measure to, uh, <laughs> to make it more dramatic, to <coughs> kind of over vibrate to the tone that you get a little bit out of pitch. See, now I went slightly out of pitch. And then go back to pitch. And this gives this extra dramatic note. works great <laughs> but of course if you go out of pitch uh, you have to be able to be on pitch otherwise it will not work <laughs> yeah good um what uh, uh, really is important on blues rock intense blues or cricks are the uh, the bendings and so we have the three main bendings here in the position one <laughs> And what is a concept from Gary Moore, I, l I really love that stuff from Gary Moore, when you make intense bending, you play it three times. Twice you just pull up, and the third time you, you approach the pitch and then go into vibrator. See? Works great. Yeah, and don't forget uh, the bending up here in the uh, 15th fret. So now we start with the entry lick, go into this wild double stop, and then we continue with those pushy uh, bendings. Now oh, wait. So, oh. We need to start from the beginning. <laughs> that is now the starting point of a um, the grandma's apple pie. Prepares now we start. One, two. Yeah, that really works out great. Now what also is cool... That one here is really cool. Now let's see how that one works. Um, you make the bending... And you, you run out of it like a garden. See? Make the bending and then release, pull off, and then you just hammer on, pull off. 
without attacking enemies. And you do that as a repeating pattern. Works great. See? Yeah. So now we start low, go in the crazy double stop, go on the high one. We can also go down the three band like. See? And then get out of it with this legato lick. That also works pretty cool. Works great. Now we need more intense as we go up in the air. To make this high bending here on the 15 more intense. Again with the same method we played three times or four times on, on the last when we go into the vibrator and bending. Approach the pitch and then go into the vibrator. See? And then that one worked great here on 13 to that one here. So let's see how that works. Of course, we need a run which goes back down. <laughs> I did this one here with the blues um, scale. It's kind of a repeating pattern as well. Starting in the 15th, pull off 15 to 13 to 14 back, and now we go down the blues scale just about starting the pull off. And now we go move down in the position one, do the same thing again, but in the low position. And all in 16 notes. So taka 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 ta. And here it starts again. 12 to 10. And then we go down from 10 to 8. Back from. That works great. Oh, again, I'm at the beginning <laughs> of the track. Hold on. I, I just rewind a little bit because this is not really cool to listen. Beginning all the time. So, so let's start that works great it's pretty fast but it's not so hard what is really important to make it sound very groovy you need to have those 60 notes 60 notes are four notes per beat taka 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 that make the X on the first so one two three four one two three three one two three three one they really always hear the one taka 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 ta and then it's groovy let's check it out now and end it up with the slashy <laughs> harmonic. Yeah. So now we have possibly start down here, go up with the crazy uh, double stop, go back again, 
go up on the bandings on this repeating pattern with the legato picking it, repeating pattern, then we go in the, the high bending, stay a little bit, and then we go down with the run and then we back. On field one, that's what we want and that's what's cool. <laughs> One, two. Yeah, now this was an idea how you can develop intense blues or clicks. Very easy stuff, by the way. I mean, still, it's advanced stuff. If you're a beginner, probably it's too hard. But still, it's not too hard, but you have this intensity which you are, we are looking for. Now, uh, the point is you need to... The, f the phrase has a feeling like over, uh, I think, 16 bars that it really fits and... and uh, so you, you should not miss the entry point of it and then... <laughs> <laughs> it should really work. In this case, I first let the intro go. Like prepares for this whole, whole intense run which is coming now. Probably want to spice up with Wawa. Hold on, I'm just install the Wawa. Do the same thing again with Wawa. something like that probably the run was too long for uh, to really keep the form but you will feel it how it has to be i mean this is the last tip when you want to play in tens don't be afraid of dirt <laughs> so what does that mean if you really hit hard on the you hit hard on the bendings and really attack hard and if you don't if you miss a few strings and you get some extra noise out of your distortion it doesn't matter it, if you want to have it intense, just go for it and probably if you're afraid to hit the wrong strings in the intensity, you will hit them. And if you're not afraid, you will you just go through that. <laughs> and even on the bendings, I mean on the high bendings, sometimes you miss the pitch in the intensity. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Even if you go, what the worst thing can be, if you go over the pitch. If you're too low, it's not so bad, but if you go over the pitch, that doesn't really matter. You can e even use this as an effect. If you miss the pitch, do it again. See, I went over the pitch, and but still I, I used it as a tool to create even more intensity. And that's the main idea before you think about run stuff and that intense blues rock licks have to be intense and that's the way to do it <laughs> the easy way of course there are f uh, harder licks to do but they will not make the big difference is the the way you play the intensity that really makes uh, the big difference on the whole thing and now you connect it to your guitar like me with dr pink eh? what do you say <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> me and Dr. Pink are signing off.
Yeah.